wash our chicken. I've got some drumsticks and thighs. Give it a good wash guys. We love Gordon Ramsay and James and I want to go to one of his restaurants when we're back in London. I'm actually following a Gordon Ramsay recipe on how to make buttermilk fried chicken. So now we've washed our chicken I'm just going to place it into a bowl. Himalayan salt. And I'm going to add in some black pepper. I've got some buttermilk that I'm going to throw over the chicken and marinate the chicken overnight. According to Gordon Ramsay, this is really good if you, it will soften the chicken and give it a lot of flavour. So let's go ahead with that. I'm using a 500 grams container of buttermilk. Pour over enough buttermilk to cover your chicken. Buttermilk is brilliant for marinating chicken and if you can put it in the fridge overnight then it'll really tenderize your chicken. So let's just give this a mix. Go in there right with your hands. Make sure your hands are clean and give it a nice good mix. Make sure the chicken is completely covered in the buttermilk. are going to put this in the fridge overnight and fry this up tomorrow. It's the next day and I've just taken out the marinating chicken out the fridge. It's been marinating overnight in the buttermilk and now we are going to coat it in flour and seasoning. Get yourself a bowl and pour in some flour which is your, your last step where you're going to coat your chicken in the flour. Now we are going to season our flour with some salt. I'm adding Himalayan salt, some black pepper. Generous amount of smoked paprika. Some ground coriander. And a mixture of cayenne pepper and chilies, which is called chili explosion, which is quite nice. I'm going to add that in. Give it a bit of a sting. And last but not least, some garlic powder. You can add in any spices that you like, and this is what I've chose to use today. Now I'm just going to give this a quick little mix to incorporate it in the flour. my chicken pieces into the flour and I'm going to make sure that they're covered properly. So just get in there with your hands, it's a bit messy but guys this is all the fun of cooking is maybe getting a bit messy sometimes, just make sure your chicken is covered completely in the flour and all the spices. your chicken completely and just continue to do this with all your remaining chicken this works with fish as well and if you want to make some more chicken you can just do it in the same steps just follow the methods that I was doing and get yourself some nice fried chicken now we are going to fry our chicken it's already coated in flour and take a look at 
this. <laughs> Quite a messy job, but it's so much fun. So you guys got to try it this way, the Gordon Ramsay way. Get yourself a deep dish frying pan and we're going to be shallow frying the chicken. So we're going to add in about two centimeters of cooking oil. frying pan and just gently lower your chicken into the oil. If you find your oil getting too hot, just add in a little cold oil or turn it off. You're going to cook your chicken for about 25 to 30 minutes until your chicken is completely cooked. Remember just to turn it around halfway through so it gets cooked nicely on both sides. Mr. Chef Gordon Ramsay, let me know how I'm doing on your recipe. Maybe we can discuss it when we visit one of your restaurants when we're in London. So let me know and I'm so going to send this video to Gordon Ramsay guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you think I should do it. My little attempt of making Chef Ramsay's recipe of buttermilk fried chicken. <laughs> While your chicken is cooking, just get yourself a plate and some paper towel. Just prepare it so when you're ready to take the chicken out of the frying pan, you can just place it into your bowl and just to drain off the excess oil. An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich what? An idiot sandwich, Chef Ramsay.